Hi, I'm Elliot Couch. Today, I'm going to inform you on the crazy career that Mike Tyson has had. Mike Tyson has had a crazy and successful boxing career from his start to his prime to its final moments. I could feel his tissue collapse under my force. It's ludicrous these mortals even attempt to enter my realm. That is one of many ridiculous and intimidating things Mike Tyson has said during his career as a boxer. Mike Tyson has had a very crazy boxing career that I think everyone needs to be informed about. Mike Tyson has had a crazy and successful boxing career. Although I've never been a boxer myself, I have watched countless podcasts and interviews with Mike Tyson throughout my whole life. I have also watched almost every single one of his fights online. First, I'm going to talk about the start of his boxing career. Second, I'm going to talk about his highlights and his best fights. And lastly, I'm going to talk about his boxing career, how his boxing career came to an end. Mike Tyson has had a crazy and successful boxing career from the start to his prime and to its final moments. Mike Tyson is one of the best, if not the best, heavyweight fighter there ever was. He started training when he was about 11 or 12 years old. He did boxing classes that were led by a man named Bobby Stewart who quickly realized the young Mike could be <clears throat> something special with the right guidance. Bobby took Mike to the legendary trainer Constantine Diamato, otherwise known as Cuz Diamato. Bobby and Mike did some sparring in front of Cuz, and that was enough to convince him to take Tyson in and begin his training. Cuz quickly became like a father to figure to Mike because Mike didn't really have any parents around to take care of him. Mike began living with Diamato's living in Diamato's house, and Mike became his dependent. As an amateur boxer, Mike won gold medals at the 1981 and 1982 Junior Olympic Games. After about six years of training and non-professional fights, Mike had his professional debut as an 18-year-old on March 6, 1985 in Albany, New York, against Hector Mercedes, who he knocked out in the first round. He had 15 fights his first year as a professional, which is a lot for boxers. Now that I've talked about Mike Tyson's start as a boxer, I'm going to talk about his highlights and memorable moments throughout his career. Mike had a very successful boxing career with a record of 50 wins and 6 losses, with astounding 44 of his wins coming, by, coming from knockouts. The first of his highlights is that Mike Tyson was the youngest boxer in history to become the heavyweight champion at the young age of 19 when he beat Trevor Berbick from the world for the World Boxing Council title. Tyson's next accomplishment came when he became the undisputed champion, winning all three heavyweight champion titles. The World Boxing Association title, the International Boxing Federation title, and the World Boxing Council title. He was the first heavyweight in history to, do, to own all three. Arguably, Mike Tyson's most memorable moment didn't come from a win, but from something no other boxer has ever done. On June 28, 1997, Mike was fighting a man by the, by the name of Evander Holyfield, a former heavyweight champion himself. As the fight went underway, during the third round, Tyson bit part of Hollyfield's ear off, leading to Tyson's disqualification from the fight and suspension from bo boxing. Now that I've told you about some of his highlights and memorable moments in his career, I'm going to tell you about his, how his career came to an end. Tyson had quite a roller coaster ride of a career that kind of came to a burning end. In 1992, he was convicted of rape and sentenced to six years in prison, but this wasn't the end of his boxing career. After being released on parole after serving three years, he engaged in a series of comeback fights, winning back the World, Council, World Boxing Council title and the World Boxing Association title. Later that same year, he won, the, those, he won those titles. He was stripped of the WBC title and lost the WBA title to Evander Holyfield. In 2002, he fought for the world heavyweight title again at the age of 35, but lost in, by knockout. In 2003, he declared bankruptcy being $23 million in debt, despite having made $300 million during his boxing career. In 2006, 
He retired from professional boxing, but is now living a happy life with his family and is no longer in debt. First, I discussed the start of Mike Tyson's career. Second, I talked about the high, his highlights and memorable moments. Finally, I talked about his boxing, how his boxing career came to an end. Mike Tyson has had a crazy and successful boxing career, from start to his prime to its final moments. I'd like to end this speech with another Mike Tyson quote. That's what people respect, the fact that I wasn't a chump that laid on his back and gave up. Thank you.